Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we actually officially begin section 3.3, although this is where this is headed, I want to look at something called the vertex formula. Uh, to this point in the course, if you've been asked to find the vertex of a parabola, I've taught you how to do it uh, by graphing the parabola and then using either your trace key or the max min key on your calculator. Here, you're being asked to find the vertex of a parabola by hand. And in order to do that, you need to know the vertex formula. So here's the first thing you need. The function that you're going to find the vertex of has to be quadratic, of course, and it has to be written in this form. So a is the number in front of the x squared, b is the number in front of the x, and c is the constant. Okay? So, here's what you need to know about the vertex formula. To find the vertex of a parabola, you know that a vertex of a parabola has two coordinates. It has an x-coordinate and it has a y-coordinate. To find the x-coordinate, to find the x-coordinate, you use what's called the vertex formula, and to find it, that would be the opposite of b over 2a. So this is a fact that you need to commit to memory. The x-coordinate of the vertex of a parabola is opposite of b over 2a. Opposite of b over 2a is the x value. And then to get the y value, you plug in. So you take the answer that you got from here and you plug it into the function. Okay? I know this looks weird, but all this is really telling you to do is take the x value you got from here and plug it into the function, and that will give you the y value. So, for example, if I had the function x squared plus 8x plus 3, and I wanted to find the vertex, a is 1, B is 8, and C is 3. Now for the vertex formula, you don't even really you don't need the C. You really only need the A and the B. But if I want to find the vertex of the parabola by hand, here's what I remember. X is equal to the opposite of B over 2 times A. So that would be the opposite of b, which is 8, over 2 times 1. That's a. So that would turn out to be a negative 4. All right? And then if I want to get the y-coordinate of the vertex, I, plug, I take negative 4 and plug it into the function. I find f of negative 4. So I go to this function, and I plug in a negative 4. I would have negative 4 quantity squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 3. That would be 16 minus 32 plus 3. This would be negative 16 plus 3 which would be negative 13. And that, my friends, is how you find the vertex of a parabola by hand. So the most important thing to remember is x is equal to opposite of b over 2a. Once it's in this form, and then you, once you get that answer, you plug that answer in to the function, and that gives you the y value of the vertex. Alright, so this just kind of whets your appetite for what's coming in 3.3.